our previous video training sessions covering the topic of 5S, we learned how to properly set an order and shine, and of course inspect, during a 5S event. The tendency at this point is to want to move on to another area within the facility because of the euphoric feeling of what we just accomplished is so dramatically different and improved, and do I dare say it, it's so darn beautiful. So the tendency is to skip over the last two S's altogether, standardize and sustain, and move on to another area. You must try as hard as possible to avoid avoiding standardize and sustain. Why? Well, because of what we've been focusing in on so much throughout the entire video series, the elimination of waste. You see, all of your efforts thus far will be wasted if you don't standardize and sustain your accomplishments. A facility in which I performed a great deal of work as a consultant many years ago was not properly standardized by any means and therefore was very disjointed and, well, quite a mess. The reason for their not being standardized is the same reason for many other organizations and inherent to many organizations that are truly not lean or process focused. Due to the lack of standardization with the overall organization, the marked off areas in front of the electrical panels were sometimes painted in all red, sometimes they're yellow with a red border, sometimes yellow stripe lines, and sometimes yellow and black alternating stripe lines. It was all over the place. So even though standardization is the fourth S in our five S's, there are some macro levels, macro parts of standardization that could be and perhaps should be addressed even before beginning. The standards that we could include and we should address are safety related standards, material identification standards, floor marking standards, tool shadowing or cutout standards, labeling standards. Well, some organizations have assignment maps. That's a map of an area in which you, you identify who is responsible for bringing back a certain area to the correct standard. This confuses a lot of people. See, standardization is the key to continuous improvement. And I found that a lot of people don't get that. In fact, they think it's almost the exact opposite. In other words, you, when you think of standardization, you think, okay, now it's a standard. This is the way it's going to be forever. <laughs> That's not the case. See, the whole point of standardization is to really understand what is the expectation for today. It's our current state. What is today? What do we want today? But the purpose of that is to also allow us to see the waste. And when we look at today's situation and we see the waste, then we say, ah, we got to change. We got to make a change. We got to improve. And so then we develop a new standard. We also talk about having before and after pictures. The after pictures are very important. The before pictures kind of tell the story, give us an idea of where we came from. The next challenge to sustain is making it easier to do so, making the whole process easier to sustain. So ways of doing that might include, uh, we find ways to prevent problems from occurring. So prevention of sorting. In other words, there's no other possibility that anything can go into that area. You cannot put something in the wrong area, like a cutout, perhaps, in a die change card. And the range of these activities it can vary from one extreme to the other. Like uh, in one case, I've seen some organizations where they, uh, the, the people uh, come up with an improvement of their, for their particular area, but then they don't share that improvement with the other areas because they think that it'll be a competitive advantage uh, come the time to do a 5S audit. Now, of course, this goes against the grain. This goes against standardization and everything we've talked about with standardization and it also goes against continuous improvement, so we have a problem there. Again, part of sustainment is not just that we're maintaining status quo, but that we're always making improvements, we're always making changes, and those should be visible in an environment that is truly sustaining. The 5S Challenge. Now that you have initiated, standardized, and sustained, it is time to keep it going. This is where you are, as an organization, will really be tested. It is the foundation of lean and must be done effectively. Otherwise, your entire lean journey and your hoped for results are in jeopardy. Do it the right way, completely, every day. Do it the 5S way.